I, I remain uh, uh, optimistic and I think that uh, Afghanistan future is uh, bound to, uh, of course, to its relations with all its neighbors. And uh, we, we, had, we had always the Western neighbors and the Eastern neighbors, I mean, now for now, Pakistan and Iran. But we have also now Central Asians. And uh, uh, Afghanistan is um, uh, to take care of the relations with all these countries. This is number one. Number two is Afghanistan also uh, needs uh, to rebuild all its infrastructure. And this is why the uh, assistance uh, the, the, uh, the coming from uh, donors is very important in Afghanistan. Therefore, and we all recognize that the Afghan Donors Committee is chaired by Japan and has been called in Japan yes. several times. Already. I mean, the first, uh, the first meeting uh, just uh, uh, a few weeks after uh, the, uh, this was in January uh, 2002, when we had uh, the meeting in uh, a great meetings of the donors uh, in Tokyo. And this was the um, first major meeting of, uh, and uh, I would like also to, to tell you that Afghanistan has had a, a international presence since uh, 1919, and uh, Afghanistan was uh, a member of the League of Nations, and, uh, and uh, uh, Afghanistan had an embassy in Tokyo in 1931. And the uh, uh, students of uh, the Afghan students were studying in 1932 in uh, in Tokyo. Uh, this uh, this is why I, I would like to 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 to, to make you understand that uh, the uh, relations of Japan and Afghanistan are not fresh. I mean they are they are old relations and they think from uh, the in early 20th century. Yes, but uh, uh, you are speaking about the external relations yes. of Afghanistan, yes. whether with the near neighbors like Iran, Pakistan, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, etc., or the far neighbors like Japan. Yes. Um, but there is a problem inside Afghanistan also, which has nothing to do with the neighbors. One problem is you've already identified that there are Tajiks, Uzbeks, Hazaras, Pashtuns. And there's a second problem, and I want you to talk about the second problem which is that you have some Afghans who are clean shaven and some who have long beards. What is the relationship between those who are clean shaven and therefore forward looking and those who are bearded and therefore backward looking? Okay. Because that seems to be a problem in Afghanistan. Yes. Now for num number one, I come to uh, your first uh, observation and this is about the presence in Afghanistan of uh, the Pashtuns and the Tajiks and the Uzbeks and uh, uh, also others, uh, smaller uh, by number of uh, uh, ethnic groups. But uh, I assure you that there is good understanding between them and they feel belonging to Afghanistan. This is very important. Uh, I mean, if you, if you meet any Hazara leader, or uh, Uzbek leader, or uh, or Pashtun, or Tajik, they would they, they they feel that they are part of Afghanistan, and this is very important. This feeling, and also as uh, the ambassador Haraguchi said, the sense of ownership. Uh, this they have this sense of ownership, and uh, they uh, for them even an ethnic group uh, belonging uh, a Hazara or. Uh, um, uh, I'm not a Hazara, but if uh, I'm beside a Hazara, I consider him as having all the rights uh, as, as, as myself in Afghanistan. And this is the feeling of uh, all the Afghans who uh, for uh, all the time, I mean especially uh, in their resistance against the Soviets, uh, where all the ethnic groups participated also they became very much allied to each other. 
And in later, uh, the, when they had uh, the, they resisted against the Taliban, uh, which were also foreign elements. So that in that time also, uh, the Afghans they became more united, and this uh, sense of unity is there. Uh, so therefore, it is not like uh, uh, it, it is much better compared to many other countries. Uh, in the world uh, of, of, of that region. Uh, and uh, now we come to the uh, your second question. One, uh, they are clean shaven, and, but, but I assure you that, uh, that there are uh, people who have uh, a sizable beard, but uh, they uh, believe in uh, uh, the necessity of uh, progress uh, in today's world, and they are conscious about that. But of course, there are uh, some who, uh, with uh, uh, maybe with some links abroad, they uh, may feel that uh, the Afghanistan uh, is a, 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 for, for them. Uh, they, 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 they need, they feel uh, the need of uh, reinforcement of uh, religious uh, thinking. But for many of them. In their case, uh, they have there is uh, there is no distinction between uh, what is uh, the tribal customs and religion, and this is why uh, this is uh, really but uh, uh, because of uh, impact of uh, cohabitation with uh, in the region with the Iran Iran and with. Um, uh, some uh, element, moderate element of uh, Muslims in Pakistan, and in the, so there, there will be, I am sure, uh, a, a progress of a, uh, the of an Islamic thinking, which is which uh, finds the necessity to participate in today's uh, world and in today's condition of the world. Uh, to be uh, for Afghanistan to, and, 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 to, and to be also uh, directed towards progress. Yes, but you have now made repeated references to others, to the foreigners, to the neighbors, to abroad, uh, uh, interference from abroad. Now, for 250 years, Afghanistan was considered a buffer between the Russian Empire and the British Empire. And the agreement was stay out of it, let's both stay back and keep it as a buffer. And that was responsible to keep Afghanistan together. But now we have interference from everybody in Afghanistan, including the United States. And so is it possible that the fact that others are interfering so deeply in Afghanistan, starting from the Soviet invasion and ending with the current situation, is it this external intervention which is creating all the problems between the beards and the non-beards, or between the Tajiks and the Pashtuns, or between different visions of the ownership of Afghanistan. How important are the foreigners in creating this situation in Afghanistan? I think that the foreigners in Afghanistan are, uh, have an importance which is uh, limited in that way, that uh, the Afghans, to uh, the all ethnic groups of Afghanistan, they feel very much uh, united to each other. And the word fragmentation, which was used by an author about Afghanistan, is not correct because Afghanistan does not feel uh, fragment, fra any fragmentation. Uh, the Afghans, the uh, if if something happens uh, in uh, in further uh, Badakhshan in northeast, the people of Herat feel it uh, very harshly, and uh, this is uh, also. So I can tell you that uh, the foreigners in Afghanistan uh, are considered. Uh, as able to be people with, who, with whom you can deal. Because we had always in Afghanistan such foreigners who were so helpful to the Afghans. And we had all some of the NGOs who were foreigners uh, generally. Uh, uh, they are, their behavior, with the people is considered as uh, 
very human. And uh, generally, Afghanistan, which was never colonized by any country, is that they can have good relations with everybody.